Good morning, Bogus. How are you today? Great. Yeah, guys, look. We share one pillow, me and my cat. Because why not? And he has basically almost all. Oh, so cute. Good morning, everyone. Now, in a proper, like, with a proper face. I don't even know what I'm seeing. Sorry guys, I'm still quite sleepy. <laughs> but now, a more official good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Beatrice. And uh, you can, before anything else, no, I'm just gonna say you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I post mostly on Instagram. I'm gonna leave the accounts down below in the description. If you like this video, thumbs up. You can subscribe and, sorry, again, super sleepy. <laughs> you can subscribe and ring the bell. That will be like really, really, really nice. As I told before in my previous vlog, like I'm really new at this. So I just want to make sure that I've said like the correct words. If there are any correct words, because it's actually my vlog. So it's my thing. But you know what I mean. <laughs> no, but yeah, right now it's like really like morning time. I just made my oat, eh, oat apple fiber tea by Herbalife. This is like the best thing. Like first thing in the morning, it's the, I drink this tea, this cup of tea. Because it's really good, as you say in Portuguese, it's really good for like a dry belly. <laughs> uh, no, because of the fiber, it's a really good tea to drink first thing in the morning. I also take, um, I'm also going to take my vitamin, also by Herbalife, proper for women, for like skin, immune system, because it's quite important. <laughs> also like hair, for example, before I start taking like these vitamins from Herbalife, my hair was like breaking all the like everywhere it was, I was actually like starting wondering if I was going to get bald not even like joking <laughs> and uh, I started taking this uh, the vitamins from Herbalife and literally like a big big change I noticed immediately and uh, I'm just wanted this disclaimer to Herbalife just to say like uh, not sponsored at all but if you want however you can get like 25% of discount just talk to me just leave a comment or talk to me on Insta or Twitter and um, yeah, like uh, we could make that happen. But now, <laughs> sorry if you can hear it, literally my cat Bogus. I don't know if you know this, but cats when they're like in Etoin, they're like trying to hunt. I think it's hunt. They do this like sound. <laughs> Is there a Today it's Sunday. And I want to do like a day in a life, just bring you guys with me through the day. And also I want to do a bit of like a presentation, like who I am, my name, where I'm from, my age, everything. I'm going to do that later for someone to get ready, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I want to, it's just because like I, I, I want to start like vlogging, I will not say daily, but regularly. But to do that, uh, like, a hundred percent me, to do that, uh, like, really comfortable and chill and everything, I think we need to talk the elephant in the room, and I never said who I was to you guys, so, I don't know, I think I, like, it's, an, it's a necessity to say, like, hello, welcome to my channel, this is me. No, but seriously, uh... I'm just, I just want to tell you a little bit of my story, my past, where I grew up, my childhood, my goals and everything. And then I think we can just... <sighs> but yeah, right now it's 20 past 8 on a Sunday morning. I'm going to drink my tea. And I'm going to see what I have to do today. I have this agenda. It's a really small agenda, but... Um, in my like I tried to do those journals and bullet journals and I created myself and like I love the creative part but I actually never follow the journal so 
it was kind of like waste of time. <laughs> so I'm just like stick with these small ones. I write three things that I want to accomplish that day and that's it. So for today, I want to plan the week. Yes, I want to plan the week. I want to edit a video and I want to start vlogging. So start vlogging, check. Now I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna drink my, I'm gonna drink my tea now. I'm going to just like wake up and we'll see what I'll do next. I'll see you guys that time in the future me. But my future me knows already where you guys are going, but I don't know. This is interesting! Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm the godfather. Don't ask why, just feel like it. Yes, my child. What could you do? What could you do? Go, baby. Look, he's such a baby. Look at him. He just wants to be whole, doesn't he? As I was saying, let me just. Okay, a squat. Well, I got ready. Yeah. I'm pretty now. I'm always pretty. No, joking. But uh, as I said before, like today's Sunday and before, like usually around like Saturday, Sunday, one, one day of the week, of the weekend, in, I, I always eat like pancake day. Chocolate chip, protein, pancake. That sounds nice. With ginger tea. Yeah, you guys, I think you guys are going to like see, I drink a lot of tea. I used to drink like loads of coffee and uh, even though I didn't drink like loads of coffee, I used to drink like coffee. It was just my first drink, but I don't know if it's because of this, if because of the weather or I don't know. I think it's because I've been watching Avatar, The Last Airbender for the past few days again and again. <laughs> and uh, Ira, I don't know if you know, Ira, the character Zuko's uncle in Avatar is one of my favorite characters ever and uh, I think his obs obsession with tea kind of got through me and now I just want to drink tea all the time but before I start making my brekkie I was thinking what if I start like my presentation and do like through the day instead of like one time of the day just sitting like hi my name is mm. so Hello everyone! <laughs> my name, actually my full name is Beatriz dos Santos de Sousa Neves. I know, what is his accent, what is his voice? Uh, I'm Portuguese, I grew up in Portugal, I live in the UK right now. I'm 22 years old and I did this face because next Wednesday I'm going to be 23. First, I'm from 4th of July 97. Yay, best year! Yeah, I grew up in Portugal. I grew up mainly with my mom. My parents were separated, but like in a, it was a really nice, really nice and good separation. So they were friends. Uh, our weekdays I spent with my mom. Weekends I spent with my dad. And uh, I had a really good childhood. I, I, I need to be honest. Like, it was actually like, quite nice. I was a typical tomboy. Like, I was the tom. If you're going to describe a tomboy. That was me. Until I was 11 years old and I wanted to start being seen as a girl. So I literally, my dad, my step, I think it was my stepmom, she bought me a purse and I literally w wore the purse like with me all the freaking time. Even if the teacher sent, uh, asked me to go to the board, I went to the board, I used to go to the board with my purse. Like, if I was going to be a girl, I was going to be a girl. I had no fashion so at, at the time. I got a little now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was like a little bit of my childhood. I've practiced loads of sports, tennis, uh, basketball, I also uh, swim. I used to go for hikes. Uh, I did also athletics, but that was later. And uh, yeah, like tennis was my main one as a child. But yeah, like my mom, she was a PE teacher. My dad, he was a retired 
well, I think he was already retired when I was born, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so yeah, like I practiced a lot of sports and uh, yeah, that was my childhood. So now, after this brief presentation about my childhood back in Portugal, in Lisbon by the way, I'm from Lisbon, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make my breakfast and we, shall we chat a little bit more while I'm eating my breakfast. <laughs> So here I am again, I'm gonna drink my ginger tea, actually like I really like this mug, this mug says don't speak with me, shh, not yet, and then, now you may speak, this mugs, this mugs, this mug tells the, tells the truth. No, but now I'm gonna eat my pancakes. I end up uh, doing chocolate pancakes with also like chocolate and chocolate chip pancakes. Uh, I, it's like, okay, it's not the most healthy meal ever, but I also like put protein, I put oats on it. It's not also the most like unhealthy pancakes ever, but it's just like not the most healthy breakfast that you could have. But on Sundays, I just like to, chill because I want to be the healthy person that I was before however like it's we, I can never forget and we can never forget that um, if you want to be healthy uh, being healthy it's a lifestyle it's not uh, just uh, a goal not just like um, a diet if you want to actually be like a healthy person physically mentally spiritually uh, every e <laughs> it's just about balance, just about like finding the right balance. And for me, it's like, yes, I'm being healthy. However, I'm not going to restrain myself if I want pancakes. So I'm just going to try to find the most healthy version that I could afford. And this is one for me. I really, I love chocolate. Chocolate is like my thing. I'm obsessed with chocolate. And I love like good pancake for breakfast. So chocolate pancakes. So which part? Did I end up in my childhood that I had a really good? Yes. All my childhood was uh, really good. Um, we, I grew up in a really happy family. And uh, like, it was really happy times for me. However, uh, when um, I was 14, it was discovered that uh, my mom had uh, cancer. And uh, yeah, that, uh, that com completely changed everything that changed my family relationship the relationship with our family um that changed the whole dynamic i had to grow up just talking about my, me personally i had to grow up like way faster just to be able to be there for my mom understand and trying to like i remember like my main focus was just I don't want to get my mom scared about me, even though I knew she was. I just want uh, I just want to make everything like uh, easier for her. But uh, yeah, two years after, when I was sixteen, uh, my mom passed away. Uh, well, <laughs> my mom passed away, and uh, yeah, I went live with my dad, but. I can totally say, like, those two years and that whole part of my life, I know for a fact that it was a part that molded me the most. I'm the person who I am today, big part because of that. It was a really hard time for me because, like, my, me and my mom, we used to fight all the time. Like, if we spent more than three days without fighting, we'll be like, whoa, what? However, she was a person that knew me the best. She, I could tell her anything, even though I knew that she would not agree or something like that. I don't know. It was, we had a really, like, um, open, and we talked, like, we were really straight talking to each other, like, we didn't have like those, oh, maybe, no, 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 no. I, 
Let's talk about boyfriends, friends, gossip, school, everything. Like, and uh, yeah, like that was a big, um, a big change in my life. But now, on a more positive note, uh, seven when I was 17, 17 18, um, I. Uh, I entered a bachelor, uh, I started taking a bachelor degree in sports science, actually in the university that my mom also went. However, uh, three years later, yeah, I ended up uh, leaving the university, I quitting, because I realized that uh, sports science wasn't for me, like, I didn't know what I wanted to do, I just, like, I liked sports, I practiced sports, so sports science made sense when I was 18, but then I was like, but I actually don't want to do anything with this, like, professionally. And so I decided to uh, apply for a bachelor degree in psychology at Coventry University in the UK, and I got accepted. So I come to the UK, 13th of October of 2018. It was the official date that I come to live in the UK. And I think that's good for now. Guys, I just want to say, they are so good. They are so chocolatey. <laughs> And now it's time to plan the week. Literally, like I use, I like to use this one uh, because first of all, it's super cute. It's with the Riso cats. But yeah, I'm gonna plan my week here and also in my agenda. The way that I do it, it's really simple. By uh, like. As I said before in the morning, uh, my I, w I always want to do like three main goals for the day. And that's what I write in my agenda. So when I'm planning the week, I try to do, I try to plan on Sunday at least two. In my planner, I like to put like the things that I want to do. Uh, also like meals that I want to make, uh, uh, workouts that I want to try out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. But before I start planning everything, I'm gonna keep going with a little bit of me. So, I started university psychology here in Coventry. However, at the end of the school year, I officially decided that university wasn't for me and I left Coventry University. Like, it was a big, big decision. In, uh, from me because in Portugal it's not um, it's not a thing like in Portugal the normal that everyone follows is high school university and then work and the fact that I didn't want to keep going with the university made a lot of my family members uh, like questioning me and uh, even though they respect me they don't understand and they don't quite support and uh, that makes that always made me like has that little voice uh, back in my mind saying like uh, asking not asking like judging so like um, ooh have you done the right have you made the right decision are you sure maybe they're right you're going to fail in this way it's going to be hard in this way you don't know what you're doing you're being naive young you're being irresponsible basically i left university and i start working and it's me again i just finished planning my week it's uh, i feel like i already the week hadn't happened and I feel already like calm and I don't know, like having everything planned out uh, makes my mind and my brain just start like relaxing and chill. Uh, I don't know, I'm weird that way. <laughs> no, but yeah, just before I finish the vlog, I just want, just want to finish my sto the story of me. So yeah, basically now I'm, uh, between, I'm between jobs and uh, yeah, I'm just like... Um, I don't know, I, just a thing with me all my life, it was, I never was career focused. I always was like, 
motherly focus. My focus in my life was always like um, constitute a family, being a mom. That that is my main goal. It's like I just want to be like a mom. Yeah, like I never was career focused. And I truly believe that university is not going to take me there. So right now I'm just like experience different types of uh, jobs and see what I like and what I don't like. Discovering like by experience. I, I'm doing the, uh, I'm doing that way and I actually prefer. And uh, yeah, right now I'm here in my home. I live alone. My history about living alone. Well, I didn't say before, but when I was 19, I moved to my mom's house. That was like my house. Uh, I moved there, I moved, and I was like living by myself with a couple of friends. And uh, yeah, when I decided to move to the UK, I lived in a house with uh, another Portuguese girls. And then I did last year, I decided to move on my own. So I moved on my own for a couple, for like three, four months, and then my boyfriend moved in with me. And uh, now my boyfriend moved out, and uh, I'm again living all by myself. And to be f to be honest. I kind of like it. <laughs> no, but yeah. And also, another thing that I didn't say before, like when I was in Portugal, in sports, attacking sports science bachelor, I was like super healthy. Uh, like I had like a really good body for uh, like for my goals, my personal goals. I was eating really healthy. Being healthy was like my main focus. And when I came to the UK, because like it's a different country, it's a different language, different different culture. Uh, when I come to the UK, I kind of like my I, I put my focus on learning how to how to live here and adapt um, and adapt to the life here in the UK. And now I had like a main focus is I want to be that healthy girl again. I used to love working out and do like those heat sessions. And now, to be honest, I don't have that motivation anymore. And I want to get that motivation again. So, yeah, I just want to say that it's, that's going to be like a big part, a big theme uh, in my YouTube channel now, in my vlogs that I'm going to share with you guys. And I just want to say that uh, I just want to share my journey now, my career journey, my personal life, what I'm focusing on the week, what I'm focusing on the day. And yeah, I just want to share a little bit of me with you. And yeah, guys, I just hope you like this vlog. I'm going to go now. And just don't forget my motto for life. Be crazy. Be you. Just be. Bye, guys.